The warning buzz of the prairie rattlesnake terrifies most people that stumble upon them in the wild. Those that go looking for them, like Dr. Matthew Smith, are gathering data to better understand this much maligned reptile. We just want to take some basic life history data, uh, get an idea of growth, population size, so we'll mark individuals so we can come back year after year to see, uh, get an estimate of how many there are. Smith explains that rattlesnakes are often misunderstood. People think they're evil and looking for trouble. Not true. The snake is a very important part of the rural ecosystem in North Dakota. They eat ground squirrels and juvenile prairie dogs and rabbits. The rattlesnakes in particular are one of the, the best reptilian predators that we have in the area. And so they do a, a lot better job controlling small mammal populations. An old wives tale that North Dakotans have heard and most hope is true is that rattlesnakes don't cross the Missouri River. They're confined to the western part of the state. Mostly true, but not entirely. The den we're visiting today is in Emmons County. One of the only known ones on the east side of the river. Another myth is that if you stumble upon one, they'll attack with vicious ferocity. Also far from the truth. Rattlesnakes, un, you know, they do not chase. Uh, they don't run at, or you know, crawl after you like the, everybody says. They're, so they're they're not overly aggressive. They want to remain hidden, and they want to be left alone. Dr. Smith says if you're hiking in rattlesnake country and you hear that familiar buzz, the snake is warning you he's nearby. Simply locate the reptile, move a few steps in either direction, and continue on your way. If you do suffer a snake bite, keep these facts in mind. They are true. 85% of rattlesnake bites are dry bites, no venom. But stay calm and seek medical attention. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoors.